Robert Dave's channel again. Opening the second mystery box we have again. We buy a lot of these. So the first one we did, we just uploaded it. Uh, had dog tags in them. Which dog tag ones I'm not really too fond of. Like it's not really worth my time and effort buying them. But I mean it's a mystery box, so you get what you get. But the you say one, it was kind of worth it because it's kind of cool looking at them all. If I can get a Stardust one, that'd be kind of cool too. But, uh, so for this guy, let's see what we get. So these are more dog tags. I believe all of these have the dog tags. Got the Judgment of Light, the Primal Origin, and the Blue Eyes again. Oh, I really hate talk tags though. Okay, let's see here. I mean, you get a sticker and you get dog tags. That's. This will even open up. Like, what? If I cut to the sticker, it doesn't really phase me too much because I don't want really to use a sticker for anything. I got a USA one, which I got that one already, so I'm pretty sure it's going to be a repeat dog tag. And it is, which I've already got one of those. Uh, it's like I said, it's not really worth having the dog tags. So with the blue eyes, I'm hoping to pull a vintage card to hopefully get it out. And for packs, you have the monster legs again. So we'll open up the other box real quick. Let's see what we get. We'll open the packs in a separate video all together. Makes a lot faster video for us. Hopefully it's something actually different. Dog tags are not good. So. Uh. Ooh! A Phytonic Guardian. Thank God. No more dog tags. <laughs> so, we're going to go ahead and open this one for this box. It says nine cards per pack. I'm not sure what we're going to even pull on these. Hopefully, something worthwhile. Oh, there we go. All right, Yomi ship, most annoying card that I've encountered in Yu-Gi-Oh. Maiden of the Aqua, Giant Axe Mummy, Gravekeeper's Vassal, Gravekeeper's Watcher, Eight Claw Scorpion. Swarm of Scourbs, a Narrow Pass, and a Molten Behemoth. So even though it's a new pack, didn't really have much in there that we really look forward to, because I didn't see any rares or anything. But it's something other than dog tags, so I'm happy about that. Let's open up the pack, save on time. I'm going to start off with the blue eyes, and then go from uh, Judgment of Light, Parma Origin, or Judgment of Light. And we have the Monster League packs. Got to also because I have the Hakalu. The most annoying thing to pull off of them. Hopefully for some extra ones. I know we can pull a guy out of Dragon Champion in one of these. It's hard, but I've seen it done. Uh, Borrow Germs. Petite Angel. Succubus Knight. Regeki. Ooh, it's a ra ultra rare foiler. I actually need neither one of those because I haven't got one yet. Firewolf, Hito and Tanama, which is the most annoying card I've encountered. Two Mouth the Cooler, a Fire Aru, and a Dark King of the Abyss. So that was a decent pack there. For the other Blue Eyes deck, K. 
Cage Musha the Blue Flame, Dragon Treasure, Kumu Toku, Beaver Warrior, Armed Ninja, Spike Sadra, Trial of Nightmare, Flower Wind, and a Hitchimi Giant. That one was kind of a letdown, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. The other pack was probably a little bit more better. Dead Man Delight. Vain Betrayer, Reverse Glasses, Cheap, Cheap, Cheap. You can special in one little firepower tuner monster from your deck. Decent. Corrupted Keys from a rare. A Mega Phantom Beast Aero Gwyn. Machine Effect. Once per turn, you can banish one Mega Phantom Beast monster from your graveyard, except Mega Phantom Beast this card. First summon one Mega Beast token. That's not too bad. Power never use it. <laughs> uh, Junk Blader. XYG Agent. Black and White Wave. And Metaloge Chocolates. That one was a nice one. I had an Ultra Rare finally. Parma Origins. Phantom King Hydroid, Artifact Aegis, Helios Spear Dragon, Battle and Boxer Veil, Dawn Knight, ooh, a uh, nice Ultra there for Seven Princess Sprout, Geyser Shark, Hundred Footed Horror, and a Hazy Flame Hydra. It's pretty good. So I'm getting a lot more Ultra Rares from this mystery box than I was the other one. The other one I only had, I guess, just rares in it. I won't even try to pronounce that. <laughs> Limit Dragon. Vertical Landing. Star Surf Scout. Archfiend Palabrinth. Ooh, a Noble Knight Dreisten. For a Secret Rare. It's getting a lot better ones. A Fishborn Archer. XYZ Agent. A Bujungi Wolf. And a Black and White Wave. So basically this mystery box had a lot more ultra rares and I've already got one secret rare. Alright, that's for all the Monster League packs from both boxes. This hot glue makes it so hard sometimes to get this stuff off. Psychic Sword, a Diamond Metalock Bapple, Breaker of the Magical Warrior, ooh, a Banner of Courage, I will be putting this in my Warrior deck, Hyper Hammerhead, that's a decent looking pack, I got Breaker of the Magical Warrior, which I do like him, Another Blossom Chain. Ooh, a Diamond Card Trooper. A Silent Psychic Wizard. Forgotten Tempo of the Deep. And a Gentle Mander. So, uh, this mystery box was easily way better than the other two. Fighting Spirit. Goblin Elite Attack Force. Uh, Magugi, Mizuki, Damage Gate, and uh, Umni Taurus. So a lot more rares from this. Kunai with Chain, Gentlemander again, Sunlight Unicorn, which I get a lot of these. <laughs> And a Bahala Hall of the Fallen. 
and Evil Swarm Thunderbird. Oh yeah, here's the other one, a Shining Victories. It was one of the uh, basic packs. It has nine cards. These have pendulums, I believe. Yep. Performo Shell she, Cell Shell cra Crab. That's a bit of a tongue twister for me. Comes Morning. Luna Light Purple Butterfly. A Super Anti Kaiju War Machine Mecha Dogren. A Sage of Eyes of Blue. Very nice. Ultra Rare. That will be going into my Blue Eyes deck. Very nice. I'm going to keep that aside. <laughs> Diamondus Eruption, a Luna Light Wolf, and a Dynamis Spinos. Bad aim. So, yeah, basically, this is like the best thing I've pulled so far today. <laughs> Something I can actually use instantly. Sometimes with these mystery boxes, you either get a really good win. Or you take a big L and you get nothing but crap. And so far, that's probably the best box I've gotten. Out of all these boxes, we're both open. No entry. Goblin Elite Attack Force. Um, I can't even pronounce that. As Aztec Epid, the Warm Warrior Insect. Recycling Batteries. A Black Stego. A lot more diamond type cards, like. I'm not sure if they're uh, certain rarities, but they're interesting to see. Hate Buster, Silent Psychic Wizard, Teleconnect Shocker, Creature Shop, and a Dark Crusader. Not bad. Earthquake, another Motobushi, a Golden Flying Fish, Master Mark of the Rose, Frilla Rabka, Mask of Vitality, Noble Arms, I can't pronounce that either, uh, Challenge the Prophets, Mickle Wake, Magical Undertaker. Right, for the last two packs. A one shot wand, which is awesome. Seed of the Flame. Goblin Elite Attack Force. I'm getting a lot of these today. Tutan Mask. And a Reptilian Gorgon. For our last pack. Murmur the First, Berserk Gorilla, Harambe, <laughs> Madura, Call the Atlanteans, so I have Atlantean Knights, so I was wondering if that's the same thing, and a Mechlord Army of the Grinnell. So out of all these packs today, I think this is one of the best ones I got, the Sage Master of Blue Ultra Rare, because I do have a Blue Eyes deck, and I have one of these cards, I believe, or I have none of these cards. So I can't remember exactly what I have. So, very nice pool there. See how much it's probably worth later. <laughs> so, I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like, comment what you want to see us do next time, and we'll see you next time.